Wait, Chris and Squixed. Cook's Jam for being here. Cook's Jam for another day. Cook's Jam for another day. Hope you're having a wonderful morning. Um, I'm having today's breakfast. Yet again. Hot cereal. And today's breakfast I've got frozen raspberries, hemp hearts, butthole blast, aka ground flaxseed, cinnamon, little sugar, and some heavy cream, and peanut butter. I guess the peanut butter is supposed to add some protein and give you a little oomph, a little staying power for the morning. So, and I've got a workshop to teach. And let me tell you, and today's a music workshop. I gotta sing and play guitar. And, you know, workshops take a lot out of you because you gotta be on for like an hour and a half, two hours, and have the answers and have the right things to say and to to be on, right? You can't be off. You're you're like an entertainer, a salesperson, you know, you da 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 and I love it. You know, I really enjoy it. It's fun. But I just want to tell you, it takes a lot out of you. So I'm learning as I get older to pace myself and not to do too many in a row or a day or a week. Because I, as I get older, it's, I don't know how many more workshops i got left in me. You know, so i got to figure something out. Because, <laughs> you know, I'll do three days in a row. And then I need a few days to rest because it just kicks your butt or it kicks my butt. So that's why I have a little peanut butter in my hot cereal. It's really good. I'm going to try it. And I'm using that salty peanut butter. Sweet and salty. It's good. I really like it. My kids don't like it though. Uh, okay, so today's breakfast. What I've been reading a little bit, just dabbling, is uh, this Keith Richards biography. And it's giving me pause. It's good. This one's good. Victor Bockers is a really good biographer. Like, I haven't read his Andy Warhol one, but that's next. I read his William S. Burroughs uh, one. And that one's really good because it captures New York sort of from like 1973 to maybe 80, New York City. So the Andy Warhol era. Show me a shell, Basquiat, and you know, the Lou Reed, and you know, early or mid the Stones, and the Clash, and uh, the beat, you know, Allen Ginsberg, and all the people in his Debbie Harry, uh, Patti Smith, like all these people hang out with William S. Burroughs, and Victor Bockris was there, and he captured it, he recorded it on tape or something, and so that book's really well done. This one's really well done too. I'm just I'm overwhelmed. I've got like probably eight books on the go. And I read a little bit of each book, right? Every day. So I've got the Neil Gaiman, View from the Cheap Seats. I've got uh, Tony Iommi, Iron Man. I just started this one, Rhodey, uh, by Matt McGinn. I think it's Matt McGinn? Yeah, Matt McGinn. It's detailing 10 years on the road with Coldplay. Wow, it's been that long already. This book came out 10 years ago. Keith Richards, I'm just, you know, I got a lot of books on the go. Um, so that's how I read. So his, Victor Bockers' uh, Keith Richards biography is good, but what is, what's given me pause to think about is um, detailing, it details, uh, I'm reading a couple Stones biographies too. Oh, so much stuff to read. Anyways, Victor Bockers' uh, book about Keith Richards, his biography, made me think about, uh, like, around 1968, Keith Richards was, he stepped up and was helping plan the tour for 68, 69. They hadn't been to the States in three years. Everything had changed. The world had changed. It was no longer screaming kids, screaming girls at, like, venues. It was, you know, stoned hippies <laughs> and... People actually listened, right? I mean, they were still screaming, but not like before. And uh, the war was going on, Vietnam, and it was a tumultuous period of time. So Keith 
stepped up because uh, Mick Jagger was in Australia filming um, a movie and so he had to step up and it was interesting to say like he said that that would be the last time Keith Richards would be able to fulfill that kind of a role and for 10 years because for 10 years you know 68 to 78 Keith Richards was a mess he was well societal perception when he was a mess he was a heroin addict he was a raging alcoholic he was he was crazy he was living life dangerously you know he even packed a gun one tour in the states he said he packed a gun because when he was trying to go score heroin he didn't know where he would be and he wanted to be safe it's like oh my god think about what you're saying <clears throat> so anyways it's a uh, Interesting to contemplate. And so I looked online and I found some old interviews. And Keith Richards in 1968 was a very different Keith Richards, say, from 1978. Even 1981, I found this interview from the BBC. And the difference is startling. You know, he went from a well-spoken, quiet, young guy to like this, I don't know, burnout. Like just fried his Brain. And he, his mannerisms changed. By 1981, he was the pirate Keith Richards, you know, the Jack Sparrow's dad. And, uh, yeah, really interesting. Food for thought. Um, it's really interesting. So, I don't know, I just I found it really weird. So I'm reading it. I'm enjoying it. I guess it made me think because I really went hard myself, partying and drinking for almost 10 years. And uh, God, that's a long time with a lot of money. And I stopped, you know, I'm a different guy now. It's been a long time, actually. I slowed down, I quit now, I totally just... The strongest thing I drink these days is chai tea. And, um... I wonder how much I changed. Um, I noticed changes like my memory and my short term memory is kind of screwed. My body, the toll it took on my body, you know, I feel it. But, you know, I'm here now and I'm here to make, make a difference and make some change, positive changes and hopefully help people. I think that's that's what I do is old uncle helps out now he's good tell some old world war stories and you know still keep doing what I do creating playing music and writing books and doing art and maybe making films my vision kind of sucks now we'll see but uh yeah I like to now that I've survived and I'm gonna be 51 in a f few weeks like I want to help I want to be that that cool uncle, that cool uncle to help you out, eh? Hey, eh? hey. Eh? So, anyways, deep thoughts with old uncle. Okay, well, I'm gonna go because I'm rambling now, and I want you to have a great day, and I want you to take care of yourself, and don't do what I did, and don't do what Keith Richards did, and find yourself a good role model, and take care of yourself, and stay creative. I hope you much success. And our old uncle's here if you ever need someone to talk to. Okay. Bye.